Maxwell House presents Fanny Bryce's Baby Snooks. <laughs> Poor Daddy, played by Hanley Stafford, has his hands full again. His silver cigarette lighter is missing, and he suspects his loving child had something to do with its disappearance. Uh, Snooks won't admit it, uh, so we find them both at a... I haven't got the heart to tell you where he took us, so just listen. Snooks, dear, I'm going to give you one last chance. Did you take my silver lighter? Is this a police station? No. I didn't take it. All right, I'm forced to believe you. But we'll see the psychiatrist just the same. See who? The psychiatrist. He's a doctor. And your behavior certainly needs looking into. What's he going to do, Daddy? He'll just psychoanalyze you. Will it hurt? Well, of course not. He'll explore your subconscious and break down your phobias. I want to go home. Now sit still. <laughs> The only reason I brought you here is because you've become so hard to handle. You refuse to go to school, you won't play with your little friends, and worst of all, you make up those fantastic fibs. How you do it is beyond me. Ain't I smart, Daddy? <laughs> yes, very. It doesn't do any good to punish you, and I hope this doctor can get to the root of the trouble. Oh, shh. Somebody's coming. Look at Daddy. Here comes a man walking on his knees. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Is he the doctor? No, I, uh, I think he's one of the patients. <laughs> What's he crawling around for? I don't know. Hang on to my hand, Snooks. <laughs> Are you scared, Daddy? No, keep quiet. Oh, oh, excuse me. Have you got a piece of toast? Huh? <laughs> Have you got a piece of toast? Are you hungry, mister? Oh, no, 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 of course not. I'm tired. Tired? Uh, no, sorry, no toast. Oh, oh what a shame. I, I must find some. Well, doodle-doo, pip-pip. Doodle-doo, pip-pip. Oh, hello, Mr. Higgins. Oh, hello, Doctor. Say, what's the matter with that fellow? He asked us for toast. Yes, poor chap has an obsession. He thinks he's a poached egg and he wants to sit down. Nothing serious. <laughs> 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 There's nothing to worry about. Come on in, my child. Why, yes, Snooks. There's nothing to worry about. Now, my dear, your daddy has told me all about you on the telephone. I just want you to answer a few questions. First, I Are would... you going to psychoanalyze her now, Doc? Yes. Just be quiet, please. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> to begin with, Snooks, uh, are you a boy or a girl? Huh? I say, are you a boy or a girl? I'm a boy. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, when you grow up, will you be a man or a woman? A man. Mm -hmm. Now look at me closely. What am I? A train, a Christmas tree, or a bottle of mustard? None of them. Oh, thank heaven. I. Well, what am I? A banana. Uh, oh, Snooks. What's the matter with you? Why are you giving the doctor these crazy answers? Because he's asking me crazy questions. Well, this is all a part of a test. How can the doctor say... Mr. Have... Higgins. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Snooks, I understand you refuse to attend school. Don't you like to go to school? Uh-huh. You do like going to school? Uh-huh. And I like coming home, too. Well? But I don't like staying there in between. You see, doctor? A very normal reaction. Tell me, Snooks, do you have dreams? Uh-huh. All the time? No, only when I'm sleeping. I see. Yeah. Are they nice dreams? Beautiful. Beautiful, huh? Did you ever dream you were a lark flitting through the welkin? More beautiful than that. Like what? I dreamed I was an elephant squirting water through my nose. <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. Great yeah. significance, Mr. Higgins. Oh, sure. A snooks. Have you ever had any dreams about cats? Uh-huh. Uh, tell me, what kind of clothes does pussy wear? You know what I mean. Does she wear wool? Does she wear feathers? Ain't you never seen a cat? He's seen plenty of cats. He wants you to say a cat has fur. Why? Because that's the right answer. Are you sure, Mr. Higgins? Why, sir? <laughs> I think so. Oh, excuse me, I didn't mean to butt in. Thank you. Snooks, please remove your right shoe and stock. What for? I want to examine your brain. Huh? You gotta look at my feet. I just want to tickle the sole of your foot. 
<laughs> it's like a game. <laughs> I want to go home. Oh, what kind of a test? It's te- just to test a certain reflex. Babinski's side. Come on, Snooks, take off your shoe. No, tickle me under the arm. <laughs> oh, listen, Doc, is all this necessary? I just want to find out about my lighter. Mr. Higgins, we must approach it very slowly. This child is full of inhibition. Do you ever hit her? Only in self-defense. <laughs> what about my lighter? I didn't take it. Now, we'll soon find out. I'll give her the association test. But I shall have to ask you not to interrupt, Mr. Higgins. Okay. Now, Snooks, I uh, want you to close your eyes and relax. I ain't gonna close my eyes. All right, just relax. Now, I'm going to mention some words, and as I say them, I want you to respond with the first word that comes to your mind. Understand? No. You do, too. He means if he says black, he wants you to say white. Mr. Higgins. Uh Uh-huh, I'm sorry. (laughs) It's very simple, Snooks. For instance, if I say the word hot, you instantly think of cold. Understand? Understand. All right. Uh, no. Yes. He hasn't started yet. Mr. Higgins. Excuse us. <laughs> Go ahead, Doc. All right, sir. Now, uh, here's the first word. Top. Bottom. <laughs> I like it. Round. Black. <laughs> Do some more. Oh, keep quiet. You too. Oh. <laughs> now, relax, Snooks. Here's the next word. Light. Dark. Joy. Sorrow. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, what's the use? Please, Mr. Higgins, that word indicates a very important psychic sublimation. Get to the light. Here. Don't be impatient. Let's continue, Snooks. No, I'm going home. Silver. Home. Lighter. Home. That settles it. Mr. Higgins, I'll stake my professional reputation that this child had nothing to do with the disappearance of your silver light. Oh, honestly? Oh, thank heaven. I'd hate to think she'd hold out so long. She's a perfectly normal child, and you can believe me, she's entirely innocent. Can we go now, Daddy? Yes, dear. And I want to apologize for ever having suspected you. I'll never be hasty with you again. No more spanking? No, never. All right. Here's your lighter back. What? Well, I'll be. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> 